very quiet up there, guys. Previously on My Kitchen Rules. Your prawns? Yes. I feel even more nervous now. <laughs> Our teams fed the farmers. Guarantee you'll be happy. As long as you don't stuff the beef up, you blokes will walk out of here. And Paul and Blair's beef. Oh, that's got some heat. It's beautiful. Won the blue ribbon. Congratulations on the great job today. Safe not from one, but two eliminations. That is a huge prize. The remaining teams were split into two groups. In your groups, you'll face each other in two knockout rounds. We're going to bring our fighting spirit and try our hardest. Then, in our first knockout round... All right, the brain's going in. We just don't want to go home. The experimental foodie signature dish... No. Not cooked. Spelt the end. They wanted to do beef chicks. It obviously didn't work out well for them. ...of their MKR dreams. We might be out of the competition now, but Danielle and I are still a winning formula. Tonight... At the end of today, two teams will be safe and one will be eliminated. It's the second knockout round. Everything's riding on this dish right now. Go, babe. Go, 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 go. Three powerhouse teams lock horns. I think we could win this. I just want perfection. It's not an option going home today, Thalia. In our closest elimination yet. Well, flavour impact. Mm -hmm. That is delicious. Wow. We've got competition on our hands now. This is unbelievable. This is the best. This is the best Today is so important. We could be facing elimination and any little slip up can send us there. I feel a lot of pressure on us. Yeah, definitely. There's a one in three chance that we're going home today. Beef. Mm. Do you think it's going to be a beef challenge today? Could be, but whatever it is, I think today is going to be the toughest day in this competition so far. I mean, going up against Kathy and Anna and Bree and Jessica, who are, I would think, the best cooks in this competition. Teams, it's the second knockout round and three more teams are in the firing line. Kathy and Anna, Bree and Jessica, Thali and Bianca. Your future in My Kitchen Rules hangs in the balance. At the end of today, two teams will be safe and one will be eliminated. Kathy and Anna, you know, they're big threats to us and they've done very well so far. I think Bree and Jessica are the most competitive team, but they're a bit hit and miss, so we can only hope that maybe there's a few slip-ups. Ladies, you each possess great technical ability and a great desire to succeed. And that desire will mean a lot today. As you go through three tough rounds, striving to make the final five. This is how it will work. At the end of the first round, one team will earn an advantage. After the second, one team will be safe. And at the end of the third and final round, one team will be eliminated. Round one is a test of your technical skill. On the benches, you will see a beef eye fillet, a knife, and some string. You will have just 10 minutes to correctly trim and truss this cut of meat. So you have to take all the excess fat off this fillet and tie it up neatly. The more symmetrical the shape, the more evenly it will cook. I am happy. I think we can manage this. I'm trying to put a smile on my face so the competitors don't know that I'm actually freaking out. We're not butchers. <laughs> We're fish and chip cookers. <laughs> One team member must trim the fillet while the other trusses it. I think the easiest task is the trimming, so I'll do that and leave the trussing to Mum. The team that performs the best in this challenge will be given a huge advantage in round two. Chloe and Kelly won the second round after getting their advantage, so I think it's a huge deal if you get it. Win this, and you're one step closer to the final five. Teams, your 10 minutes starts now. massive day in Kitchen HQ. We get to find out who joins us in the top five. You're trimming this and then I'm going to tie it. We just want to get the least wastage as possible. We're definitely really worried about this challenge. You're getting too much meat there. Okay. I've seen my mum do it before and that's about as far as our experience goes. <laughs> Up high, you're getting too much meat on there. I have to take the fat off first, which is the fiddly part, because you've got to take it off without taking off any of the meat. You know, we want to be in the top five yep. and if this means we've got an advantage, let's do it. 22 degrees, get your angle. Good girl. The most important thing when trimming the beef is the angle of the knife. Well done. That's it. Right underneath. Angle, angle. There's not much wastage there, mate. Well done. Fat is where all the flavour is. If you cut all that out, then it'll be dry. 
The sinew is that chewy, yucky bit. You want to get rid of that because it'll really toughen up in the cooking process. What's time now? Six minutes and 40 seconds. This is definitely something that we feel confident in. It's something that we've done a couple of times already in the competition. I've just gone into the meat there. That's all right, doesn't matter. I'll truss it down, I'll truss it down. Beautiful, you're doing really well. You happy with that? Yep. Go. Oh, wow, oh, I'm happy. Come on, girls, let's go. Man, she can roll some string. Kathy and Anna are the first team to start trussing. Kathy, wow. Good work, Mum. Good work. Mum is trussing like a champion. Trussing is just tying a piece of meat so it's an even shape, so it'll cook evenly in the oven. I've cut off a really long bit of string. Give it to me. I am. And I get it in a knot immediately. Go, go, go. Bree and Jessica are the last to start Mom. trussing, and I don't think they're going to finish it. Go, babe. Go, 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 go. She is killing it. Look at her. This is looking really nice. This is not that perfect. This is not good. I'm feeling a little overwhelmed. The beef is scary. It's in there. Yeah, you can get that off in a minute. OK. I'll pass it over yeah. in a minute. James, you've got one minute left. Let's go. Come on. What's that? It's going to hold it all together. Yeah. yeah. 40 seconds, babe. Hold on, Bree. Take the skin off the other end. You really want to take turn, it off? No, no, turn it over. Turn it over. Turn it over. We've got to get it on the plate Tell as me well. 10 seconds in. Go, Bree! Push out! Here we go. Ten. Good dog. I'm happy. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, ladies. Time's up. Step away from the adventures. You did a good job, babe. Did I? Yeah, I did. You did well. So well. I can't believe that we've actually finished within the time frame. You can trust my mate any time. <laughs> it would be really good to get this advantage. Have you had much experience trussing meat before, Cathy? I have, yes. Are you happy with the trimming? We've left quite a bit of, you know, the fat on, but that's the flavour. We've got all the sinew off. Thanks. Thank you. We're looking at our fillet and it's good, I think. It's perfectly trimmed, it's uniform. Are you happy with the end result? I think within the, the time parameters we had, we did a pretty good job. What about the um, wastage? I mean, there's, there's a... probably a little bit of meat on the on the on the wastage. Well, it's um, nicely secured. I feel it's enough. Thanks, Mano. Thank you. The beef is not looking good. There's a skinny end, a fat end. I can see a bit of skin, a bit of fat. The string's not even. Looks a wreck. You happy with the trimmings? Nope. <laughs> Have you trust before? Not really, no. It's not easy, isn't it? No, especially not in 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. For a first effort, it's not bad, ladies. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> Our chances are zero of getting this advantage. Trimming and trussing can be tricky and fiddly for the inexperienced. You had just 10 minutes to show us why you should be given an advantage for the second round. We're feeling pretty confident. Yeah, we did, we did a good job considering yeah. the time. The team to receive the advantage is... <laughs> Kathy and Anna. <laughs> Kathy and Anna, you now get the power that every team wants. Under the benches are three ingredients, one for each team. And now you have the power to decide who will cook with what. Getting the advantage to select the ingredients that your other teams are cooking with, it's massive. So let's find out what you have to choose from. First ingredient is beef. Oh, wow, beautiful. Mm. With the steak, we've got a beautiful dish up our sleeve with that one. Mm -hmm. So bring it to us. You give it to us, girls, we'll rock it. The second ingredient is... Ooh. Chocolate. We do love cooking chocolate and everyone knows that desserts are our strength. Third ingredient is skate wings. Interesting. Skate wings are like the wings of a stingray. It's definitely not a, an easy ingredient to work with. A lot rides on this decision. <laughs> Pretty certain they're not going to give us steef because they know that we're good with that type of thing. We're thinking they're going to give us chocolate because we haven't had the best track record with our desserts and they're probably thinking that this might stump us. Make sure you choose wisely.
we were lucky to win the skills test and so now we have an advantage. We can choose the ingredients for ourselves and the other teams. This is a really big decision for us because it could mean we'll be safe, but it could mean we might go to sudden death. Which ingredient do you choose for yourself? There's so much at stake today. I think it's smart to go with something that you're comfortable with and confident with. It's about ourselves and it's about how well we cook and so we wanted to choose the beef. I think we, we could have been tactical, but I don't think that's really our style. Guys, really? Kathy and Anna may be playing it a little bit safe today, <laughs> choosing beef. That's a strategy. So, Kathy and Anna, what do you choose for Thalia and Bianca? Um, Thalia and Bianca have shown that they're really good with desserts. With $250,000 up for grabs, we would probably be silly to give them chocolate. So, I'm going to give you guys the skate. <laughs> My heart sinks a little bit when we get the skate wings. I would have loved to have chocolate, and skate wings are just something we're not really experienced with. And Brie and Jessica, the chocolate. Thank you. Brie and Jessica have cooked chocolate in the past and didn't go so well. We hope this will pay off for us. Kathy and Anna have definitely underestimated us. Give mm. us chocolate. Yep. Bring it on, sister. Teams, celebrate your ingredient and use them wisely. You will have one hour to turn your ingredients into a dish that will take you to the final five. The storeroom is open. Take to your stations. Your time starts now. All right, guys, you can do it. All right, so we've got skate. Okay, so we've got chocolate. So I was like, please, chocolate, please, chocolate. But this is what we get. Skate. That's right. I think we should do a chocolate ravioli. Today, there's no room for playing it safe. We've got to do something different to set ourselves apart from the rest. I'm thinking of like an English fish and chips skate wings. They're really common in England and not so common in Australia. So we're going to do a play on an English fish and chips. Sweet. I want a pot, please, Mum. A Mom. pot? Yep. The stakes are higher because we've picked the beef. It's probably the extra pressure to do well, Mum. That's kind of um, scary. So for the round two cook-off, we're cooking a beef fillet with cauliflower puree, mushrooms and wilted spinach. Mum, this is a lovely take on a, you know, a country roast. You've got the, you've got the beef, you've got the mushrooms. We're sticking to our good, honest country cooking. This is the type of food that I put on my table at home. But we're presenting it with a bit of an elegant twist. Just meat and veg. Right on. on. Do you want to get some more meat in there, Mum? Just let it to brown, Anna, please. Leave it to brown. To go with the beef, I'm going to make red wine sauce from scratch today. It's really important that I get this on early so that we get some flavour through this. There is a lot riding on this, Anna. Dessert isn't something we normally do on this competition, but I do a lot of desserts at home. Yeah, and, I mean, we just... You know, why not flex our wings a little bit? Yeah. We're making chocolate ravioli with chocolate sauce and orange. I think this is a bit different, isn't it? It's a bit it outside is. the box. It's it not is. something that a lot of people... No, it can be done. It's pretty strange, you know, pasta as a dessert. I've never heard of it before. Chocolate ravioli, definitely a risky dish. We're hoping that the judges understand it and we can nail it and they love it. I think Thalia and Bianca would definitely be wishing that they had the chocolate, but having said that, these girls know fish, so, you yeah. know, they, I'm sure they've got something great up their sleeve. This is a bit of a weird fish to fill it. It's not something I've done before. Kathy and Anna chose skate wings for us to cook with today. So we have to make an amazing dish if it's going to get us a place in the top five. Hopefully we can make these things restaurant quality. For the round two cook-off, we're making skate wings with pea puree and bubble and squeak. Bubble and squeak is a traditional British dish made of leftover veggies that are chopped up and fried. We've got the potatoes boiling. We're going to mix them through with some pancetta, some Brussels sprouts and leeks. How's that skin coming? What I'm worried about is making it look really messy. They do work in a fish and chip shop, let's be well aware of that. So if there were two girls, Stalin and Bianca would be my top picks to do a good job on that. Time is of the essence. The point thing about making this dough, Brie, is to make sure it's um, kneaded yep. enough and it's rested long enough. Just keep kneading it. You know how to make dough. We're onto it. We know what needs to be done. Both got our assigned tasks with this dish. Brie's doing the filling for the ravioli and I'm making the pasta dough. Filling for the ravioli is going to be a combination of some ricotta, orange and um, some chocolate. These girls have got a point to prove because their desserts so far in the competition have been, I guess, the weakest part of their repertoire. You know, maybe this is the time where we come out and show that we're not just one-trick ponies. Hopefully the judges like it. Yeah, just let me know how you're going, all right? Yeah. Um, and then I can help you. Know. I will, Jessie. If I can get this skin off, we'll do a good dish. The skate wings haven't been filleted for us, so they still have cartilage and skin that we need to remove. It's definitely going to be the hardest thing. It's not easy for this to get this tough, leathery skin off. Filleting this skate wing is becoming a nightmare. Thanks a lot, Kathy and Anna. Charlie, it's not going to be a nice feel, like, that's for sure. I hope it doesn't take too long. Taking the skin off those skate wings looks like it is an absolute mission. I'm feeling the pressure so much. I know that everything's riding on this dish right now. I love to trust so much, Anna, that I'm actually going to do it again. 
It's a lot of pressure to get this beef done correctly. As soon as I've seared this, it's going in the oven. We have to get the nice crust on the outside. We need to roast it for the, the right amount of time in the oven. Then we need to rest it for the right amount of time. I just hope we can get it right. So we can't mess it up. I don't want to be the cause of us going to sudden death. I just tasted the filling, the ravioli, and it's nice and chocolatey. It's got a hint of orange in there. It's what we wanted. All right, I'm going to do the toffee. I'm doing a batch of candied orange there. This is good. This is going to boil down into a toffee. What we're looking for is just these perfectly toffee-covered strands of orange peel that they just snap. It's really a beautiful thing to eat. Jessie, this isn't as toffee as I want it to be. It's not working, though. It's a bit too chewy. I've taken it off the heat too quickly. I can't believe this. It actually just turned into chewy toffee rather than being snappy toffee. I'm just going to make another little bit of toffee. I suggest to Brie to put the strands of orange that we've already tried to toffee back into the syrup. See, it's all melting up. All right. As soon as you've done that, I need yep. to come over and help me, please. OK. These candied orange peels, they have to be perfect. There's not one thing on this plate that can be wrong. And now, timer, have we got a timer somewhere? Yes, we have a timer. I'm really happy with the beef. Now, how long do you want it on for, Mum? 23 minutes, because it's quite thick in the middle. Are you sure? Yep. yep. I know how long it's going to take to cook, and I've just got to keep that oven door closed so the heat stays in the oven so it cooks through beautifully. Shivers. I can see Bianca's a little frustrated. I've got a hole in this one. So I just remind her that the rest of the tasks are easy and I can handle it. It's not an option going home today, Thalia. At the end of this round, one team will be safe and go straight to the final five. So we have to use every single minute and show the judges that we deserve to be here. Top five's that close. This dough needs to be really nice and thin. The most important thing about this dish is the pasta. If it's too thick, the ravioli will become tough when they cook. How are you going there, babe? You want to start maybe helping me fill? What the hell? Bree, I really need you to start helping me with these ravioli. This is just a bit too crystallised, Jess. Honestly, I can't believe this candied orange is just not working. I'm getting rid of it. I've got to do it again. Right now, they cannot afford to make not one mistake. No. Do you know what I mean? At this point in the competition, you've got no time to make mistakes. And we know that you've got to stay focused or you're going home. We really need to get on to filling these ravioli, babe, OK? OK, don't stress. I really think that Brie isn't on top of the time. We're running out of time. So all right, it's all right. You just roll, I'll fill. The pressure's on because we could be going home today. Don't stress, Jess. I'm not stressing. I totally get that and I feel exactly the same way you do. I'm just saying. I know. Sometimes you just need to breathe a little bit as well. I breathe. Don't, I really don't like you saying I'm stressing. I'm just yeah. trying to keep on top of the time. All right, I'm on top of the time too. It's fine. I'm aware of the time and I just want perfection. So do I. So do I. This dish cannot send us to sun no, death, Jess. Three teams, three ingredients. Beef, scat wing, chocolate. The best dish will earn that team a place in the final five. Now the beef, Mum, are you happy with the beef? Yeah, it's got another six minutes. We are making a beef fillet with cauliflower puree, mushrooms and wilted spinach. The biggest concern with this dish is if the beef fillet isn't cooked perfectly. The beef is going to have enough time to rest. Yep, yep. And you usually rest it for half the cooking time. There's five minutes left. I feel like that's too long, Mum. No, 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 it's fine. I go to check the beef because I want to know if it's okay. No, don't touch it, don't touch it. No, please, just put no, it no, 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 no. Whoa, hands off. No, do not touch it, please. Oh. Do not, please, Anna, just leave it for a minute. It's your dish. All right. We can't keep opening and closing the oven door because every time we do that, we let heat out and it is going to affect the cooking time. This is not very enjoyable. Teams, there's only going to be one winner. Give everything you've got. OK, moving on, thank God. Good time to the head. Kathy and Anna won the beef trussing skills test, so they got to choose the ingredients we're going to be cooking with. That's a huge advantage for them. I need to start frying the bubble and squeak. OK, so still to do, Thalia, cook that skate. The skate is the ingredient that we've been given. Skate's not a common fish in Australia either, so they really got the raw end of this bargain. This is the thing that we need to make shine on the plate. It needs to be cooked perfectly. I'm going to get onto the sauce. Butter and lemons, a really nice combination to have with fish. Just chuck the thyme in, because you can strain it. Yeah. Yep. We're just adding the thyme to marry all the flavours together. Luckily, our fish cooks quickly, but we are cutting a coastal line, as always. Mum? Yeah, OK. Mum, that's the beef. Yeah, I'll get it, I'll get it. it needs about 10 minutes to rest on it, so that beef is done. I've just got to finish the sauce. You know what, I'm not going to reduce this down anymore. We've still got to sauté the um, spinach, and we've got to sauté the mushrooms. I'm doing the um, chocolate sauce. We're making chocolate ravioli with chocolate sauce and orange. I'm going to start cooking this, this ravioli now, Brie. To cook the ravioli, I put them into a pot of boiling water with some sugar and cook until they're ready. How's that candied zest? It looks exactly as it did when I took it out the very first time, and it worries me. All right, so what should we do? Well, hang on. 
I've got time to hang on, babe. I'm looking at the clock and we're starting to run out of time. No, it's not crispy enough. Out of all the things that could go wrong, we didn't think it would be the toffee. I don't know what we should do. OK, we really need to move along. The skate's going to take about two minutes each side. It's a yummy fish. It can hold a lot of flavour. I've had skate wings a number of different ways. You can have it a sort of Spanish way. They put it into stews at one of Rick Stein's restaurants. And then there's also, you can have it rolled. It's quite a strong fish and you can put it with some stronger flavours. Precious on Bianca. Yeah. Mum, I'm so worried about that beef. Is it going to be cooked? Like, we have no idea until, like, right at the last minute. Cathy and Anna are waiting for that beef to rest, but they're going to have to slice it soon. Mm, they're, they're pushing it, aren't they? are pushing it. It's going to be short. Bree, how's that toffee going? Hopefully just a minute or two longer. Can't eat oranges just in big chunks, so... Yeah, I don't know if they've done it right. I can't do anything until this is done. Oh, my God, I can't even watch. All right, I'm going to get the pea puree on, so we've got something on there. Do you want to do onion rings? We don't have time. Um... Yeah, we want to do them. OK, I'm going to go get stuff for that, then. I think we need to do it now. Do it now. Do it now. With three minutes to go, it's time to cut the beef. You cut the meat. No, I, I want you to cut it. Oh, I'll cut no, it. No, you okay. cut No, you cut it. You cut it. You cut I can't cut it. Mum, you can't watch me. You've got to actually do something. OK, I'm not watching. I'm not watching. Are we ready? We are about to cut the beef. Now we're going to cut the end off? Yep, yep, yep. Cut yep. the end off, yep. This could be an absolute nightmare. They chose this ingredient, and if they've overcooked it, they are definitely going to be cooking again. Yeah, beautiful. I'm you have sick. Don't. OK, Mum, I want to start plating up now. Yep, yep, go for it. Two minutes to go. Do you reckon there's enough orange on there? Yep. Carefully placing the bubble and squeak on top. With this fish, I'm thinking lean that way. Hectic. You're doing well, really well. We need to work fast. I need, I need, I need to work fast, yeah. How's that toffee? It's not ready. It's not ready. Yep, lovely. And the sauce will go on the rushies around the outside, yep. yeah? Beautiful, darling. Yep, yep, yep. So you've got one minute left. Make sure it looks spectacular. One minute. Three on each, you doing? Yep. Oh, my God, I'm shaking. OK, quickly, quickly, just chew, chew. What do you reckon, Jess? It's a bit more candy. Taste this. 30 seconds left, guys, let's go! Have crumbs over the top or just around? Yep, yep, yep. It's not toffee enough. I just hope it's not too simple. Oh, uh, we've just got to do so well. <laughs> Should we take it off? Should we take it off? It, it tastes good, though. We need that. Just you. Are you sure? Ten, nine, the sauce is there. Eight, Hopefully it won't separate. Seven, I think I've done too eight, much. Eight, no, 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 it's five, fine. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Four, no, we're leaving it on. We're leaving it on. One. That's it, guys. Time's up. Step away from the benches. Oh, I'm not happy with that candy. It's ass. I'm not sure if we've cooked the ravioli too soon. Oh, dear, and the beef has split a bit. Mm. They didn't rest their beef enough, and it seems to start to run on their cauliflower puree. It's not going to be a good look by the time it gets to Pete Manu. I'm a little worried that we didn't try the skate. Talian Bianca, can you please bring your dish to us? We think we've done the skate wings justice, but we're not sure our dish is going to be enough versing Kathy and Anna and Bree and Jessica. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies. Are you happy with what you plated? Yeah, we are happy. Like, we wouldn't choose to cook with skate, but cooking with it, we're really happy with what we've produced. Have you tasted this? Yes, we have. Every element? We tried. No. Oh, we haven't tried the skate. We didn't try the skate. Ideally, we would have liked to taste it, but, um, yeah, with the clock, we didn't get time. We cook fish a lot, so, yeah, I feel like by touching it, I am fairly sure it's cooked well. Fairly sure? Peter and Manu are not impressed that we didn't try the skate. Not impressed at all. Thank you, ladies. Thanks Thank very you. much. I'm pretty sure we're going to be going to sudden death. We're just trying to mentally prepare ourselves to be ready to cook again. Pete Manu will be expecting something impressive because we've picked the beef. Thank you. Do you think the beef was rested enough? The beef could have been rested for another five minutes. It doesn't affect the taste, but at this level of the competition, it could just come down to the presentation. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. We had an advantage coming into this round, and I think we've just lost that. 
this dish today. It's a bit of a risky dish, but we figure that we need to take some risks now, you know, if we're going to stay in this competition. Thank you. Jessica, desserts haven't been your greatest strength so far in this competition. What do you feel about the one you've just presented us? We're happy. We know the flavours work really well together. We tried to be creative. We tried to do something a bit different. You know, the, the yeah, you know, orange toffee yeah. is a little bit... Our toffee sophistic. skills aren't that great. <laughs> then why did you put it on the plate if you're not happy? We know the flavours still work really well. Obviously, the technique's not there, but... Why the hell did we put it on the plate? That's the last time that we ignore instinct. The last, the very last. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. I hope the candied orange doesn't cost us. Coming up... The team going straight to the final five is... <laughs> Teams, over there, Paul and Blair, Chloe and Kelly, and Helena and Vicky are sitting back comfortably in the top five. This round gave you the chance to join them, but you had to cook with the ingredients chosen for you by Cathy and Anna. Italian Bianca. Skate wing with pea puree and bubble and squeak. What you want from a skate wings is beautiful caramelization on the outside, cook all the way through, but not too much so it doesn't become too dry. That fish. was amazing. It was beautiful and golden on the outside and it just flaked away. Your bubble and squeak. Yum. <laughs> that was delicious. However, your fried onion rings, was that one element too many on an otherwise perfect dish? Hopefully we didn't overcomplicate the dish with onion rings. Brian and Jessica, chocolate ravioli with chocolate sauce and orange. When making ravioli, the dough is probably the most important part of that recipe. And you girls have mastered that. Beautifully thin, well-cooked pasta. Pasta has never tasted so good. <laughs> it was silky, beautifully seasoned, well-balanced. Chocolate sauce, it was sensational. But your orange zests, you did three batches of that and you weren't happy with any of those batches and you still decided to put it on the plate. I was not happy with that either. We know that there's a mistake on this dish. Is it going to cost us? It's probably going to cost us. Cathy and Anna. Beef fillet, cauliflower puree, wilted spinach and buttered mushrooms. When your plate reached the table, visually there was something wrong with it. You didn't roast that beef long enough. It did affect the presentation, but it didn't affect the taste or the texture of your beef. It was absolutely amazing. Cooked to perfection. Thank you. Your trussing skills paid off twice today. Thank you. Cauliflower puree, couldn't fault it. Full of flavour, just creamy in the mouth. I was so looking forward to that sauce, but where was it? I thought there was enough sauce, but obviously not. This could be enough to send us to sudden death. It was tremendous food today. I think this was the toughest decision we've had to make so far in any challenge. The team going straight to the final five is... We really want to make the top five. It's a goal that we've had from the start. We'd love to not cook again today and just be safe after this challenge. Thalia and Bianca. <laughs> Five was our goal from the very start of this competition. I can't even believe that Peter Manu are saying our names. The difference was there were no mistakes on your plate. The onion wings, they needed to be there. <laughs> Congratulations, girls, you're in the top five. You deserve it. Thank you. You'd like to take your place with the others. so excited for Thali and Bianca. You know, to see the girls, the youngest teams in the competition go through, they should be so proud. Cathy and Anna, Brian and Jessica, 
You know entering round three, sudden death. One team would be safe and the other eliminated. There's so much riding on this. We're not ready to go home. We do not want to go home. We're going to still keep on fighting. Yeah, we're not giving up. This is your final chance to join the top five. One chance hanging on just one dish. The dish that tells us who you are and why you should stay in the competition. Your signature dish. There is so much pressure on us right now. Just one dish could send us home. Emotionally, I don't feel like I'm in a good headspace for this. The guest judges will join us at the blind testing table. The team with the lowest score will be going home. Teams, you have just 90 minutes. Best of luck. Your time starts now. We gave everything in that last dish, and it wasn't enough. We work so hard, you try so hard, and when you hear that something isn't enough, that really hurts, because you haven't got anything else to give. Now I have to just refocus. We've got one more chance. Yep. The only way we're going to get through the next challenge is by getting our heads in a better space, regrouping. We're just going to have to dig deep and go forward. Let's see if we can win all those judges. It's really good. OK, let's do it. Yep. Okay. Yep. Kathy and Anna are honestly really genuine people, so we're hoping Kathy and Anna win. For our sudden death cook-off today, our signature dish is butter chicken with red lentil dal and rice. We both really love Indian food. It's something that really brings the family together at our houses, isn't it? It is. <laughs> so this is just a food that we like to eat. We like to surprise people and definitely people won't be expecting this from us. I'm not sure. Butter chicken. Competition dish. Butter chicken? Really? What sort of signature is that? <laughs> Now, a lot of people might think curries are pretty easy, but to do a great curry, that takes a lot of skill because not only do they have to cook the protein well, but it's all about the balance of spices. If the girls can do it, then we might have a great dish on our hands. Come on, Bridget! You're doing an awesome job. I really hope they pull through. I love Bridget. Yeah, they're great girls. It would be nice to see Brian Jessica go home today. They've got some really strong dishes and yeah. I think it'd be better for us if they weren't here. Mm -hmm. We've had enough of the mums. Keep it up, ladies. Keep it up. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Keep it up. Our signature dish is chamula quail with roasted baby carrot and quinoa salad. Let's get all these out. So I'm going to start getting on to the quail. You just focus, just on, the focus quail. on the quail. Yep. Quail is beautiful and delicate and very, very cathy. Very cathy. The last cook-off, we actually busted our guts and we actually put up a great dish. So we've just got to keep doing what we do. This dish is something that we eat at home. We love cooking quail. It's a little bit indulgent. So this is a dish that I think represents us and our cooking. I think I'll do one at a time, Anna. I was going to get a little routine going, but I think I might just do one at a time. I have to debone 10 quail. I'm going to need at least an hour to do that. I'll tell you what, they've got some serious work to do. She's going to do all of those. It's a laborious task, deboning quail. Just get it right today, Mum. This could be the last time we cook in Kitchen HQ. Today we're cooking for survival against Kathy and Anna. This is our signature dish. It has to be something that's going to propel us forward into the final five. These two teams are fierce competitors. They're both really, really strong cooks. Mm. And that just means one strong team's going home today. Good for us. My family loves Indian food. Bree and I do our own versions of butter chicken at home. The only difference really is is that I cook mine in the oven. I actually make mine in a pressure cooker and I do a um, more of a creamier sauce. The first thing we need to do is do the marinade for the chicken. There are so many spices in this butter chicken marinade. Cardamom, cinnamon, garam masala, there's cloves. We don't take shortcuts, we don't use curry paste. I mean, will they think a curry is too simple? I don't think so if it's got the right balance of flavours. I mix the marinade together and then add the chicken. Usually I would marinate this chicken for about half an hour to an hour before cooking it, but today we haven't got any time. We need to throw it straight into the oven. Today we are really doing curry in a hurry. Time is an issue when you're doing curries or stews. Is 90 minutes long enough? Well, they're going to have to pack a lot of flavour into there and make sure they cook all those spices out so they're not too raw. Cathy and Anna, who are doing Schermula marinated quail. My concern with them is that Cathy have debunked only two quails in 15 minutes. Wow, she's got to move quicker. All these quail bones are breaking and falling apart, Anna. Make sure you get it all, don't leave any in there. Because you know you get those and you just put them in your mouth, you may just, better just carve you up. 
It's really important that I debone that quail perfectly. There cannot be one little bit of bone in that quail left. It'll be like having a fish bone in a dish. Just keep doing what you do, Mum. While Mum is deboning the quails, I'm working on the salad that is full of punchy flavours. You only want two carrots per person, don't no, you? No, I think three carrots. All right. At this point, we are so focused. We know exactly what we have to do. We've got our heads down and we're working towards that. It's two teaspoons of yeast. Yeah, yeah. What's Indian food without naan bread? Oh, everybody, lo oh my God, everybody loves naan. naan. To make the naan, I add fermented yeast mixture to some flour and some yogurt until a really soft, sticky dough has formed. Is that dough really, um, yeah, it's very, very, very gooey. That's what you want. Yeah, cover it up and cool. Lentils will take a little while to cook. Dough is a staple in Indian cooking. Essentially a lentil curry. All right, we need to add some coconut milk and some vegetable stock. This dish is actually a staple in my household. I know Brie cooks a similar version in her household. This is us. This is the food that we like to cook. Keep it up, ladies. Keep it up. Come on, guys. Let's go. You can do this. The chamula marinade is really important for this dish. This is the flavour that we'll coat the quail in, and it has to be really strong. Chamula. Oh, beautiful Moroccan spice paste, lots of herbs and chilies and cumin, coriander seed. Gorgeous on top of uh, some quail all rubbed through it. Mm. We, we should check that chicken, and seriously, if it's not working, plan B for that might have to be to chuck it in a pressure cooker. Jump Sam. In my oven at home, it takes an hour at 180. It's cooking. Babe, it's cooking. It's not going to break down in time, and if we put it in a pressure cooker, not only will it cook the chicken in time, it will also intensify the flavours. Jesse, I don't think it's going to cook in time. We'll get the pressure cooker, Brie, please. Just do it. They look yep. pretty stressed out. Brie and Jessica are definitely stressed at this point. You know, they could be going home today because of this dish. Jesse, I think this is the safest option. Okay. I really do. We're changing from Jessica's method to my method. Putting the butter chicken in the pressure cooker, sure, it's not going to get the nice crust as what it would get in the oven, but it's going to get the chicken cooked, and that's what is really important. You know what? I reckon I could chuck them all in together, actually. Chuck, yeah, put them all in one pot. I'll put them in one. This is how I do curry in a hurry. This is our signature dish. It's a mix of us both. I might actually throw an onion in there, too. Seeing that we're going to do that now, yeah? Probably a smart move to put in the pressure cooker. I mean, they're thinking on their feet. They've pulled out plan B, and it probably was the smart thing to do from the start anyway. There's a, lot of, there's a lot of flavour in there. There's a lot of flavour in this dough too, yeah. so... It's very flavoursome. How are you going with those quails, Kath? Um, I can... Yeah, I'm getting there. How many of you are deboned, Kath? It is frustrating knowing that I'm going to have to be deboning quail for such a long time. The marinade's ready to go, so I might actually put that on there now, Mum. Some of the quail are already deboned, so Anna puts a little bit of the tremula on there to get the marinade process going. Oh, it's, yeah, it's too soft. I don't know. I think we'll have to scrap the naan. The naan dough is very soft. Nah, it's no good. Uh, the naan bread has gone. Oh, no. Is that going to affect the whole dish? Because you need something to scoop up all that beautiful sauce with. Yeah. Yeah, you know, what's a butter chicken without naan bread? Probably don't need it. We've got rice. We've got dal. We've got dal. We've got that. We've got yep. salsa. OK, so yep. we all we actually might be yep. better off without it. Yep. Remember, let's not put something on there that's not perfect. Yep. I start to make the dressing for the quinoa salad. And on that dressing yep. is so, so punchy, I'm worried. What do you mean you're worried? It's like hectic punchy. It is really, really strong. It's got a hell of a kick. Oh, no, 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 it needs a yogurt. That's right. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> I'm forgetting the silliest things. This stress is getting to me. I reckon we might have to lift the lid and see how that chicken's going at some point. Huh? We might have to lift the lid off the pressure. No, 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 we can't. We don't want to overcook it, though. Jesse, just trust okay. me. The chicken has been in the oven already. Now we've put it into the pressure cooker, which is speeding up the cooking process. Chicken thighs generally don't need a lot of time to cook, so I'm really worried that the chicken's going to overcook. Coming up... I'm starting to stress right now. Whose signature dish will spell elimination? You want to put it under the grill for two seconds? You can overcook quail in a second. Just get it out. Just get it out. If we're serving mush on a plate, it's not going to be good. Come on, Anna, Anna, you can throw this down. Come on, positive pants. An hour on the quails, Anna, and I'm on the last one. We've got a lot to do, Mum. We're cooking our signature dish quail and quinoa salad. Mum, I want you to start cooking them. Yeah? Yeah. We're cooking the quail twice, pan frying them, and then they go into the oven. I was feeling pretty sad coming into this challenge. You know, it's sudden death. Now I think I've got my fire back, actually. I think we could win this. Do you want me to release the beast? Yes, I do. The butter chicken has been in the pressure cooker for half an hour. Who knows what it's going to be like when they open it. It could have completely fallen apart. Mm. I mean, chicken's a pretty delicate meat. 
it's time to release the steam. Moment of truth. Just get it out. Just get it out. Once you take that lid off and you release that pressure, there's no going back. This is the most pressure that we've been under right now, hinging on this one dish. The whole point about butter chicken is to have beautiful pieces of chicken. If we're serving mush on a plate, it's not going to be good. Have a look and cooked. Thanks, yeah. Brie. Oh. The chicken's cooked beautifully. The colour on it is beautiful. The taste, the flavour, it's perfect. We're really happy. We just need to add some final seasonings and it's ready to serve. And it needs coriander, it needs salt. 15 minutes left. Keep moving. I'm starting to stress right now. Well, in three minutes, once I'm I've done this, I can help you. What salad you bowl. These quail are going to be absolutely beautiful. They're going to be worth every second. Once all the quail have been pan fried, I then put them in the oven for five minutes. I'm going to put them all in the one oven, yeah? Um, I wouldn't, personally. The biggest challenge with this will be cooking the quail perfectly. I want the quail to be nice and pink on the inside and nice and golden on the outside. This is actually proving Jess. Oh, just roll them. Just, just make little breads out of them there, and right. we'll see how we go. Looks like Bree's doing the naan bread. We made a promise to ourselves that we would never give up, and that includes every single element. So if we can get this on the plate and it can work, let's go for it. You know, I didn't get it, Vic. I mean, they're making bread, they're not making mm. bread, and it's back on. If they don't make a bread, I don't know what they're putting up. We're going to run out of time. No, we're not. But that naan bread has been touch and go the whole time, and that could be the difference on whether they get through this round or not. Quickly, 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 quickly. I think they're dreaming. It's not going to cooking time. You happy with that colour? Yeah. How long have the quails been in? You can overcook quail in a second. There's not much meat, there's not much fat. OK, quails are out. I bring the quail out and a couple of the skins aren't quite as crispy as I would like. Do you want to put it under the grill for two seconds? OK. Oh, yep. yep. Not long, though. A half to maybe a minute but it cannot be any more than that. Oh, I don't know about this naan bread, hey? We look at the bread in the oven, it's still not right. The bread ain't cooking. I don't think we're gonna get this naan on brie. No bread, no bread. Girls, this could send you home. Right, those are ready to go in, are those quail? I'm worried that this is a little bit too rustic looking. Right, I need to do this ladling around. It's incredibly hard to plate up a curry and make it look beautiful. Just be careful with the dough, babe, like don't get it on the rice. Cut them in half. I'd go halves, girls. Yeah, yeah and definitely. stack them up. Yep. yep. One minute to go, this is it, make it count. You're definitely happy with how it's cooked? Very, very happy, Anna. Come on, girls! You need to pour that sauce into right, a jar. I'm not putting any more sauce on this. It's got heaps of sauce. Yeah, just in the middle, because so it doesn't run through. Oh, Let's go. 30 seconds, oh sudden death. One team is going off. Jesse? Yep. It's not going to be us, okay? More garnish. A little bit of salt over the top? Yep. Here, we need a spoon, we need a spoon, we need a spoon. You do it, you do that. 10, 10 9, 9, 8, 7, 6, 6 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. That's it, guys. Time to step away from the benches. Well done. Oh, well the girls from Walker. Well done. We didn't get the nine on the plate, but look, hey, we learned from the last challenge not to put something on the plate that we're not sure about. Teams, there was real commitment tonight in your kitchens. Now, your fate rests with the judges. We'll see you back here shortly. We've done everything we can. It's time for the guest judges to blind taste our dish. Oh, that was hard. I'm proud of what we put yeah, out. I think, beautiful. considering the time that we were under to get a curry on the on the table, yeah. you and know, dough and rice. Yeah. Do you think we're going home? I don't know. I hope not. Welcome, chefs. It's time to try our team's signature dishes. From team one, we've got buttered chicken with red lentil dal and rice. Flavour impact, it is just all there. The dal is so flavoursome and rich. And the chicken's cooked perfectly. Yep. It's not dry, it's, you know, it's moist. The flavours that they've got into that chicken are sensational. And there's lots of coriander, lots of tomato. I think they've done a really, really good job. Well, I've got to say, the chicken is just beautiful. It's got such a 
lovely depth of flavour. It's just falling apart. I'm only putting into a little bit of negative there, but I would have loved another spoon of sauce mm -hmm. on that chicken, just to finish it. They did make a naan bread, but it didn't make the plate. Oh, they did another shame. five minutes. That would have just topped it. Would have loved some bread it. on the side, some naan. Chicken's cooked well, I think. Mm. It's juicy, it's falling apart. It's chicken. what you want in a curry. Yeah. yeah. Look, I love the flavour of the chicken, the dal, but it's not enough sauce. No. I do, I do, you know, for me, curry's saucy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Now let's try team number two. Shamula quail with baby carrots and quinoa. Quail's pink. Mm. Mm. Good, huh? Mm -mm. That is delicious. And they've boned the quail. Wow. I mean, we've got a competition on our hands now. This, this is fresh. The quail is, is pink. Everything's done well. The spice and the seasoning around the outside of that quail mm. is just perfect. They've boned all these quails. That, that takes a lot of work. And then the salad, the flavours they've got in there are just gorgeous. This is well-crafted, contemporary and clever. Yep. Well, I have to say that the salad is definitely the star. I think that salad is to die for. I would question the quail, though. I mean, my breast is quite dry. Mm, mine's not. No, mine's pink. Fabulous. Mm -hmm. Well, I've got to agree with Pitt. It was a little bit dry. But the salad is gorgeous. I love the mm. quail. It's a dish I would eat over and over. Mm, I love it. So which one do you prefer? I'm going to have to say the chicken. It stands out more than the quail. My favourite's the quail for the salad. I don't think I've ever seen two dishes stand so side by side in quality in this competition before. This is unbelievable. We have to consider everything very carefully. Next. One team is going home. This is so nerve-wracking. And for the remaining teams, a surprise announcement sends shockwaves through the competition. Are you kidding me? Wow. Are they playing a joke on us? We want to stay in this competition so badly. We've given it everything. We've sacrificed so much. We're not prepared to go home. We put our heart and soul into this dish today, and I am hoping with everything in my being that this is enough to keep us in the competition. Ray and Jessica, Kathy and Anna, sudden death is always a very real test. And knowing how far you have come, how close the finish line is, the pressure was intense today. Three challenges, but this last one was the one that really matters. Kathy and Anna, you are team number two. Your signature dish today, chamula quail with roasted baby carrots and quinoa salad. Let's hear what the guest judges thought. Karen? Thanks, Manu. Kathy and Anna, quail can be a very difficult bird to cook. It's very delicate. And if it's cooked incorrectly, it's game over. Yours was bone perfectly, cooked beautifully. It was just delicious. And your salad, I just love those roasted baby carrots, that sweetness that came through, and the touch of spice. Your Moroccan flavours came together perfectly. For your efforts tonight, I score you a nine. The quail, beautifully crisp on the outside and pink and moist and delicious on the inside. The salad, I could have eaten just a bowl of that salad as an entree on its own. Did the two things marry together quite well enough on the plate? If there had been something bringing them together, perhaps for me, this would have been a perfect dish. For your efforts tonight, I score you an eight. Thank you. Kathy and Anna, there are salads and there are salads, and yours was a very, very clever salad. I thought that the flavours you developed and the seasoning on the quail were sensational. So tonight I give you a nine. Thank you. It's pretty good. Ladies, what I got was two signatures on this plate. I got young, zesty, lively, and the other signature, <laughs> delicate, determined, and elegant. Oh, well, thank you, Colin. So for your dish, I'm going to give you an eight. Kathy and Anna, I've got to commend you, firstly, about the amount of quails you had to debone in such a short time. Unfortunately, the breast was a little dry, but that salad was to die for. The salad alone was a 10 out of 10. Your quail, the one that I got, it's a bit overcooked. 
The score I'm giving you for your signature dish this evening is an eight. The score I'm giving you for your dish tonight is an eight. Kathy and Anna, that gives you a grand total score of 50 out of 60. Wow. <laughs> These are really high scores. This is the highest scoring sudden death that I think we've seen so far. Makes us a little bit more confident. Bree and Jessica, you're team number one. Your signature dish, you created butter chicken with red lentil dal and rice. Karen? Thanks, Pete. Bree and Jessica. Your butter chicken was very colourful, vibrant and so fragrant when it came to the table. That dal and the actual butter chicken sauce was perfectly spiced and full flavoured. Girls, overall tonight, you gave us a fine example of butter chicken. I score you an eight. Thanks, Cara. Brie and Jessica, I believe you've cooked this dish many times before. You took your own spices, your own herbs, you made it your own. They say a signature dish should speak of you. Well, this signature dish spoke volumes. For this, I score you a nine. Making a curry is not an easy thing to do. And as soon as mine hit the table, I knew you'd given me something truly wonderful. I loved this dish. Tonight, I give you a nine. Girls, tonight you took me to your home. You fed me with love. It was a great curry. I give you an eight. It's neck and neck. It's going to come down to Pete and Manu. Brian Jessica, the chicken cooked to perfection with a beautiful mix of spices. But as you know, how much has love sauce, one more spoon over the top of the chicken before you send it to me would have been perfect. For your signature dish tonight, I'm giving you an eight. After Manu's score of eight, we now know we need a nine to beat Kathy and Anna. This is so nerve-wracking. Brie and Jessica, what you did manage to create for us was beautiful, full of flavour, sensational. And the chicken falling apart, wonderful use of spices. Brie and Jessica, for your signature dish this evening, I score you a nine. That gives your grand total score of 51 out of 60. Congratulations, Brie and Jessica. It gives you the highest score, which means you're in the final five. <laughs> I just can't believe it. We're in the top five. Oh my god, we're in the top five. Kathy and Anna, I'm sorry to say, but sadly, you're out of the competition. All good things must come to an end. It's been the most amazing experience, and I've learned so much, not just about cooking but about us and about our relationship. And I'd like to thank you so much for taking me on this journey with you. It's really sad to see Kathy and Anna go home. This competition was an amazing journey that Mum and I have been able to go on together. I'm ready to cook. There, keep it there, that's enough, that's enough. What we're looking for in this competition is perfection. You delivered it. It hasn't been easy. Not bloody me at all. Mum, 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 stop putting them in. It's had lots of highs, ah. lots of lows. Our dishes have been sent back. But it has been worth every minute. The team that got the most votes, Kathy and Anna. Well done, Mum, Mum. Oh. Oh. Mum and I are closer than ever. I didn't think that could be possible, but we are. It's been a um, hell of a ride. Remaining teams, it's always sad to watch another team leaving kitchen headquarters. But I want to say congratulations to you, the top five. Being in the top five of My Kitchen Rules just blows us away. It means everything to us. You know you've all come a very long way so far in this competition. But how far have you come? We can only really know the answer by going back to the beginning. Uh-oh. Back to your instant restaurants. Oh. <laughs> 
Are you kidding? Wow. Are they playing a joke on us? Teams, we're going around the country one more time in the ultimate instant restaurant round. This time, things will be a little different. We want choice. Two entrees, two mains, and two desserts. This is going to be hardcore. Like it wasn't hard enough the first time, well, it just got a whole lot harder. Teams, this is your toughest challenge, and your position on the leaderboard has never been more important. At the end of this round, four teams will go through to the finals, and one team will be eliminated. They're back. Cooking in their own homes. The finals of My Kitchen Rules. But this time, it's different. The guests are choosing what they want on the menu. We've never had the choice. Double the entrees. I loved. Double the mains. Wow. Double the desserts. Can we change our dessert? Are they trying to stuff all Blair up? And this time, they all know <laughs> who they're up against. Are you going to be picky now, Kelly? I can smell the fear. Will. First dish of the night. Win. In this restaurant tonight, there is the next My Kitchen Rules champions. The finals begin. My Kitchen Rules. Tomorrow, 7.30.